Welcome to our U version 2 podcast with me, your host, Brendan McCauley. And today we have a special guest, Cohen Mayer. Cohen Mayer, thank you for joining us today. And we're looking forward to you sharing your journey and your experience in life with us. Would you like to tell us a bit more about Cohen? Yeah, of course. Good morning. Thank you, Brian, oh, Brendan, for having me. And um, yeah, my name is Cohen Mayer. I am a Dutch mindset coach um, and I help men basically to remove the biggest problem that they have in their life. Um, and I am all about being in the now, being aware and uh, being yourself. Fantastic. Absolutely. Um, sometimes we don't know how to be ourselves, which is the, the funny thing about our lives. So yeah, um, just a little disclaimer now. Um, as you know, this interaction is about happiness, your personal life experiences and events may come up and flow. Um, if there's anything you're not comfortable in sharing, we can remove it from the broadcast. So please relax, take it easy, and let's enjoy this moment here together. So um, you've picked a, a very interesting topic to, uh, to help men and, and deal with mindset and various things like that. It's, it's not an easy topic in, in the sense that um, the meal can be quite uh, closed, quite insular. So yeah. um, it's, I think it's a fantastic thing, to be honest with you, Cohen. Men, more men need to open up in their lives. So, so Cohen, uh, thank you for being with us here again, as I say. And um, it's a fantastic topic that you are choosing to help uh, at the minute. So. I'd like to ask you a simple question. Well, it may not be simple. It depends on uh, how you perceive it. But what does <laughs> happiness mean to you? Happiness, if I give a short answer, happiness is being in the now and being content with what is. And Perfect. Not, have, not having to worry about the future and not having fears from the past. Fantastic. Because happiness... Um, happiness is subjective. It's your happiness can be different from my happiness, can be different from someone yeah. else's. So there's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> so thank you. And why would you say living in the now brings more happiness? Because what I have experienced when I am in the past, I think about events that have happened already and that I cannot change anymore. When my head is in the future, I am worrying about things that might happen. But the possibility that things actually happen is so small. Yeah. When I'm in when I'm in the now, I can just be without the worry about either one past or future. Yeah, we can spend a, waste a lot of our time worrying about the what if. So when was the last time you can recall being really, really happy? Um, actually ten minutes ago. <laughs> I um, I or 10 minutes ago, about half an hour ago. I sat down in a chair in, in my living room and the chair was in the sun and I picked up a new book to read. I was like, yeah, if this could be every morning, <laughs> that would be amazing. The, certainly the sunshine, the heat of the sunshine is apps, is fantastic to feel. And sometimes um, where I live at the minute, obviously, you know, four seasons and uh, it's fresh enough but when the sun comes out and you can just go out and just get that morning ray of sunshine, it just warms up the body. It's, it feels fantastic. So I can certainly understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and uh, so that's recent. So it's not like uh, it was a long time ago. So you give an example of how uh, simple it is to, to be happy in the moment, in, in that present moment that you're going through. So, for example, I'm happy to be talking to you right now. So I don't. I wasn't happy a year ago or a week ago. <laughs> I'm happy now. <laughs> exactly. Well, I hope you was happy a week ago and a year ago as well. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe a few years ago, I wasn't as happy as I am now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in relation to happiness, would you say that uh, happiness fades with time? Ooh. Happiness fades with time. That doesn't have to be. Um, as you said, you are happier now than you were a couple of years ago. So in your case, it increases over time. But that doesn't mean I was happy all the time. 
No, but how can we be happy when we do not know what sadness is? Oh, you need to be sad, absolutely, to experience <laughs> the full benefit of happiness. Yeah, exactly. So the the happiness is, for me, as I said, is being in that moment and not having to worry about a past or a future. But I have that past. And when I look back in my past, I have reason to be happy because yesterday morning I was sitting in the same chair I was sitting this morning, but it was pouring rain outside. And I was like, if this is going to be the day all day, I'm going to be depressed. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the, in relation to sort of, you know, happiness or fading with time, I think it's it's sort of, if we, uh, I don't know what knowledge to use, but if we get fully immersed, if someone throws a bucket of water over us and we're fully immersed in that moment of happiness, like the, the yeah. water being happiness, and then that, that water, that immersion goes, it dissipates. Mm -hmm. Until what? We get another bucket of water to feel happy or just by simple things in life. If we just have little drips of happiness, or we do different things differently that that helps maintain a little drip. To, oh yeah, gratitude or thanking someone, or I had a nice meal, or I went out and I met somebody, etc. Those little things, as opposed to oh, I'm waiting. I'm wait oh, this weekend we're going to do this, and then I'll be happy. Yeah. It's like okay, well, you can be happy right now if you want. It's just consider exactly. and think about it. So, a, a friend, um, I. I I joined Toastmasters here in Italy and um, a friend, Tunji, he started a thing and he called it Happy Drip. And I thought it was smart because he's just, you know, each day trying to give little drips of happiness to the world. <laughs> to embrace. Wonderful. So it's a, a great concept. Um, the, the next question I'd like to ask you, it, it, I'm sure it's something you've pondered over and debated and thought about. and. Uh, you may have given different responses if I'd asked you this question at a different time in your life. <laughs> the question of who am I? So if I could ask you, Cohen, to finish the sentence, I am, and finish it with whatever you want. So Cohen, I am. Now I could say not knowing. And that refers back to Buddhism where there is no I and I I'm not a Buddhist but I'm inspired by the Buddhist thoughts um, but when I answer your question in, in the way that that you mean it I am Kun. I am love and I am kind Kun is someone who's always there for others Kun is someone who needs to be there for himself sometimes as well and yeah if you would ask me this question again exactly I would answer it differently but yeah if if I had asked you that question five years ago would you have given me the same answer no absolutely <laughs> not <laughs> so what has happened in those five years to make to give make you give a different answer um well the, if you would have asked me that question five years ago i would have said unhappy unworthy and uh, a loser so it's it's been a quite massive change in, in five years uh, which has been all self-development um reading books taking courses having different mentors and really diving into myself and see why am i that loser that i say i am why am i not worthy hmm. uh, and good um, change it, it's a great change yeah i would i would suggest it to everyone <laughs> absolutely um self-awareness and self-reflection is uh, certainly brings us on a on the right path of a new journey or a new phase in our lives um and sometimes it takes something or it takes a while or it takes rigor to get to that point uh, to realize it uh, and that's different for everybody but it's fantastic that uh yes You've discovered that, and as a result, you're 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 making changes, simple changes, um, over time that obviously are going to lead to uh, great benefits. I would have thought. Yeah. So Cohen is love. That's fantastic. 
Cohen wanted to help others, which is again is fantastic. <laughs> so, um, what do you want to devote your time, energy, and money in, or to? That's a good question, and um, that refers back to my purpose: making the world a more loving place. Spread the love. I spread the love exactly. Yeah. The more people out there who can spread it, the better, because yeah. <laughs> the world needs no, enough love as it is. As with wars going on uh, on our doorsteps and in many other nations, uh, yeah. it's a uh, it's a constant requirement because we can sometimes think, ah, oh, there's enough people out there doing this, this, and this. There's there's never enough to try and I think maintain uh, such a such a level or spread the word because we're we're so busy with just things that we have to do every day to, to have time to even take five, 10 minutes and chill and think or help someone else. It's it's all, yeah. most of our lives, it's about me, 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 what I need to do, me, 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 me. So it's, and what uh, is the reason that you do those things? Do you do those things because you like them, because you love doing them? Or do you do those things because you're afraid that you will lack material, friendships, love, and, and, and go, uh, go on? Because when the three yeah. questions, because when you know what, why you're doing something, you can change it or keep on doing it. But it 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 takes that self awareness, I think, doesn't it? That because people yeah. can remind us, oh, you should try this or you should do this, and they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But until we actually go, okay, what are they saying? Why are they saying it? Okay, maybe I'll give it a shot. <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like no, I'm 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 fine the way I'm. It's grand, it's grand. Then rush off, yeah. busy, busy, busy. But um, stop and smell the roses is what I would say uh, to everybody and anybody. The so today, what is it you're devoting your time, energy, and money upon? So before I asked you in the future, and what are you doing today? Um, I am as much as I can trying to devote my time on making the world a a more loving and happier place uh, through my own through my own coaching business uh, and also through being a mentor to students at a university um, and also still there there is a bit of survival that i devote my time and energy to every single day mm -hmm. uh, personal growth uh, yeah good stuff thank you what we focus on expands doesn't it suddenly yeah. if we move the eye of attention to this to ourselves or whatever then okay we focus on that for time as opposed to something else that captivates our attention because there's enough out there designed to take our attention um simply even looking at a phone or and, and you one hour later you're like flip sake what am i still doing looking at this phone or <laughs> or you're watching yeah. something tv and oh i'm now in the eighth series flip why did i just sit and watch <laughs> eight episodes of something yeah but um, yeah, so the, you mentioned earlier on about, you know, living in the now and the future and thoughts and things like that. Would you say that you do have a worry list or there are things that worry you or concern you? Yes, uh, I would almost say, of course, because I'm human. <laughs> um, and one of the major things is... Um, actually am i good enough or will i succeed in my own business um that's one of the major things that i worry about about the future yeah yeah i was i was chatting to a guy recently and um you know i suppose the term is the imposter syndrome we we have the fear that we're not good enough and that oh we're, we're not like mr x or mrs y who yeah. does this and they're so amazing and um, in these conversations that I'm having with people on this podcast, it's it's fantastic. I, I love these the conversation because it opens up different discussions. But there's a common theme that, and we hear it so many times from others that um, fear is the only thing holding us back. And and when we actually do the thing that we're fearful of, we look back and we go, "Why was I so fearful of it?" But it's yeah. it's an it's a natural, normal response to something. Um, you know that, that fear of, of doing that thing and uh 
you know, it's whether it's riding a bicycle. I use the analogy, the example of my daughter who um, learning skateboarding and you know the the drop in. So you're on top of the ramp and you have to do the drop in. Yeah. It's not easy when you're standing up there looking down, but you want me to lean forward onto yeah. a board with wheels down a ramp. You know, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah. But but the, the beautiful thing about it is that the teacher says you need to lean into it. You need to lean in to do this trick. So you have to lean into your fear because if you don't lean into it, you'll tend to lean back and you'll fall. Um, yeah. So I, when I saw them and they were practicing, I, I thought uh, it's a fantastic analogy because it's exactly uh, how we need to prove. We have to lean into our fears because when I see them actually then do it and they achieve it, they're so happy and elated. And then they want to go back and do it again and do it again. So, yeah, um, yeah it, it's it's certainly a thought that would run through many of our mind, Cohen. Um, listen, I'm not the, the expert in this space, but I would certainly encourage you to lean into that fear and have belief in yourself because I I am, I do believe, listen, there's uh, billions of us in this planet. And I can guarantee there's one or two people out there who would love to listen to what you're saying. So <laughs> <laughs> if we start with one or two, it, yeah. it might, it, the network might expand, but I'm sure someone is very interested in what you have to say. Definitely. I certainly am interested in what you have to say and um, I'm having a great conversation with you here this morning. Thank you. So, so you mentioned you didn't mention too many things that were you know which is good <laughs> yeah yeah that, that as i said i i have the, the the theoretical knowledge that i shouldn't worry and sometimes when I, I i'm at a high level of energy right now so then it's easy not to worry but when my energy level is low yeah worries come up absolutely and sometimes i find myself even though I've been taught the theory and I know the way to certain behavior and you suggest the other things. Sometimes whenever an issue arises within myself, I have to go, uh, Brendan, listen to your own advice. <laughs> what are you worried about? <laughs> Just pause, listen to what you try to say to other people, you know, don't just say it, you know, yeah. do it as well. So that's a very key point. So uh, is there any particular things that you like to do Early on, you mentioned this morning, you know, sitting in your chair and the sun hitting you, reading your book. Any things that you like to do to see comfort, solace, to relax? Yes, of course. Um, I love just, well, I, I love sitting in that chair and, and, and reading, uh, but also listening to music, going out in nature. Um, I, I live in the Netherlands, so unfortunately, it is, we don't have real nature anymore. Uh, of course, we can go out and, and go for a walk, but I love going to to the mountains, uh, hiking, and um, meditation is one of the things I really like doing as well. I don't do it as often as I want, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And to get to the mountains from where you are, is it a long <clears throat> trip? Um, well, the mountains that I refer to in, in this case are, are the Alps. Uh, so okay. that is about um, maybe 800 to 1,000 kilometer, kilometers. It's a fair trip. <laughs> It's a fair trip, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. There is, there is something uh, magical about nature. Um, and uh, I recommend it to everyone and anyone. Just, you know, in, in this day and age, I don't know where everyone sort of lives, but there's certainly people live in towns and there's people live in cities. And that city environment can be intense in the sense it's, um, it's high rise, it's concrete, it's big buildings. There's yeah. not too much... Uh, natural space and we tend to you know in town planners they're meant to plan enough natural space so there's greenery there's trees and things like that rivers whatever we tend to like to hang out at those places as humans so yeah to escape to the to the countryside to the mountains to the sea is uh, there's something about it that attracts us uh, i certainly have thoroughly enjoyed where i live now just surrounded by nature and listening to the birds singing in the morning you know it's just so i don't know inspiring to to get up in the morning and there's the birds singing saying thank you for their it day is. yeah so um i certainly think nature is fantastic um and even if you live in the city try to find a little piece of grass take off your shoes and walk barefoot on the grass it's 
amazing how close it. you can get to nature. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, absolutely. It's uh, it's essential. Get out and have a few minutes of uh, of calm where you can find it. So the uh, talking about things that you enjoy and relax. Is there anything that particularly gives you joy or pleasure, happiness or fulfillment that you do within your life? Oh, um, there are many different things. I, I love having conversations like these that we're having right now and, and conversations in general. Actually, I like having um, deeper conversations about big topics that really excites me because I get to know the people or the person that I speak with. Um, and yeah, also being in nature really that makes always makes me happy, even when it's pouring rain outside. Um, I can, of course, when I don't take my phone with me, but I can just go out and 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 practically dance in the rain. Um, <laughs> to be one with one with nature. Those are two things that make me really happy. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, as long as you're not singing the song, Take Me Dancing Naked in the Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the summertime, I'd recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, like when you say uh, going up the mountains and things like that, do you like going on big hikes or would you venture to the point of a bit of mountaineering as well, trying to reach peaks? Or I, I've never mountaineered, actually. Um... It's something that I definitely want to try, but I always thought that my stamina and my physical um, body were not up to it. And mm. I've been training both of them uh, for a while now. So maybe I will start mountaineering as well. Yeah. So your next challenge to reach a peak, pick one of the peaks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the, exactly. The Alps. It's actually a fantastic mountain range. Um, I'm able to visit certain elements of it on the Thailand side, but it, it, it is beautiful. Even in you know the winter, but even in the summer as well, to go up the mountains, you know, it's it's fresh and it's it's uh Yeah, exactly. The shape, the form, it's fantastic. The valleys and and the little villages and the lifestyle within it, you know, it's it's very different from uh the towns and the cities. So we're nearly finished. Just a few quite simple questions. Um, and yeah. hopefully you're finding the questions not too taxing. <laughs> no. It's so is Cohen living the life he chose for himself, or is he living someone else's purpose, someone else's ideal? A little bit of both. I'm working on living my own life, but I'm still living the life society expects you to live every now and then. And it's not easy to break away from that. Um, no, it's not. Especially the... Uh, I'm not saying all these things are bad, but the sort of the the expectation of the condition that we go through. I'm sure you're from the northern hemisphere, like myself. You know, you go to school, you go, go to university, get a job, get a house, get a car, work, 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 etc. But uh, along that path, why can't we learn to be happy within ourselves? Why can't we learn to help others to to enjoy that journey? Because it is a yeah. journey, as opposed to rush to this point, then rush to the next point, and then rush, keep rushing to a point thinking, oh, if we reach that, we've achieved, and then we, it's like, just yeah. enjoy the whole path. <laughs> enjoy it all, um, because they all have our different experiences uh, along the way. Like, um, I'm certainly, with my gray beard parts, you can see I'm slightly yeah. older than Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> I have different experiences, but, um, you know, as you said at the start, learning to live and appreciate in the now that that's yeah. that's that's the journey that and that in itself just brings uh, so many more opportunities in life because i yeah. think you, you look at it with a different different mindset a different different set of eyes so the I have three final questions for you Cohen. Yeah. they can be short fire questions short responses or you can expand on them if you want but the concept is you keep it brief um yep because it may be more impactful with your response but take it long there's no right or wrong it's all right what is cohen grateful for right now the sun outside absolutely i'm so jealous because outside i have a <laughs> bit of i have a mist at the minute so i'd be very grateful if there's a bit of sunshine it is coming apparently next week so 
I'll be good. I'll wait till then. Now I am grateful that it's there was a little bit of rain recently because it hasn't rained here for months. So the ground needs it, you know. So yeah, the seasons need to come and go. Um, are your relationships going well? Better and better. Good, good. Yeah. It's always good to improve, isn't it? No matter what it, what stage we're at. How is Cohen making the world better? Spreading the love. Spreading the love to the world. Fantastic, yeah. Cohen. So listen, Cohen, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you here this morning. Uh, for you and your sunny environment and me and my <laughs> misty environment, you can see around the world we all have different uh, things to be grateful for. So have you any parting words for us before we wrap this up? If life was a race, the one who passes away first wins. Don't make your life a race. And I want to That's thank it. you for having me. No, no, no it's, it's been it's been my pleasure to chat to you. So thank you so much. Thank you for your time. And hopefully the listeners will have enjoyed this conversation and take something away from it that they could apply to their own lives and make those little steps of change for the better. So Cohen, yeah. thank you very much for me, Brent McCauley. Cohen Mayer, have a great day. Thank you.